everybody. So in this video, we are going to begin discussing the structures of the female reproductive system. As you can tell, there are a number of components here. So we are not going to talk about every little detail just because I don't want to be redundant and just read at you the whole time. So we're going to talk about some of the larger pieces here, and then you can come back, look through it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So some of the major components of the female reproductive system. First, I'm circling this in red, but if you can't see it, I'm going to do it in blue next. The ovary. So the ovary is where the eggs are stored and are released during the ovarian cycle. So once those ovaries release an egg, they're going to travel down the fallopian tube, which I will do in purple right here. We have two ovaries and two fallopian tubes that are going to release the egg and send them from the ovary to the uterus, which I will now circle in. I'm going to try yellow because I think that might be a good one. So here's the uterus, right? So just here alone, you can see there's multiple components to the female reproductive system, and there's a lot going on here. So when it comes to an egg being released, when it's released from the ovary, fertilization is going to happen in this tube, in this fallopian tube, before it reaches the uterus. Another component we can see here is the suspensory ligaments, which are going to be used to help suspend these parts, these organs. The blood supply is going to come from the tops and are going to ensure that all of these organs have the proper amount of blood supply and nutrients. We also see the mesovarium over here, which is also going to be important for making sure that these structures stay in the correct locations, specifically the ovary. So this is one of the ligaments to help keep everything in place. We also see an additional ovarian ligament in the broad ligament, which are again important in making, making sure that the structure remains the same. As we look over at the uterus, there are three major layers to the uterus. The innermost layer is endo, the endometrium. We have the muscular layer known as the myometrium. And then the outermost layer, the parametrium, which make up the different parts of the uterus. When it comes to reproduction, we also have the opening down at the bottom of the uterus known as the cervix. Here is where one of two things can happen. We can release the egg during the part time of the month where we are cleaning out the uterus to make sure that we can restart the next cycle and then have another chance for implantation. Or this is the opening where sperm can enter into the uterus. Below that, we have the vagina. And so far, we're starting to see all these different parts and how they connect together in the female reproductive system. Here are some of those ciliated cells of the uterine tube. These are going to help with making sure that the egg is able to work its way down the uterine tube and into the, into the uterus. Here are a number of these female ligaments that are used to help support different parts of the reproductive system. Because it is a little bit of a unique, very unique reproductive system, but because it has components such as the ovaries and the fallopian tubes that are suspended in such a way where they need to be in those locations so that eventually the egg can travel down the tube and into the uterus. We have these special ligaments right here, these suspensory ligaments that are going to help keep these in place. You can also see the uterine tube as well as the uterus and vagina in a slightly different image compared to that of the last image. The very last things to talk about are the round ligaments, which we can see here. And 
to pubic symphysis, which is this joint right here between the pubis bones. And this is going to relax over time to help widening the birth canal so that the baby can travel through the birth canal when the time comes. As we can see here, some of the external features of the female genitalia. At the very top, clitoris. Underneath that, you can see where the urethral orifice is, which means this is the hole where your, the urethra is located for urination. We also have the labia, which is going to be used to help cover the, the vagina to make sure that nothing gets in. And many other components here. So with that said, if you have any questions with anything with the external or internal female reproductive system, please let me know.